let's look at a problem that wants us to find the perimeter of a triangle with given vertices in a three-dimensional space. Um, the good news is that any three points in uh, three-dimensional space will uh, uniquely define a plane. They will all be in the same plane. We can remember that from geometry. It takes three points to determine a unique plane uh, with that. If you had four points, so if you had a quadrilateral or anything more, you had to be careful. You couldn't just choose random numbers and, and actually have a polygon created in, the, in a plane. But any three points uh, will be in a plane here. So any three non-collinear points will be in a unique plane uh, from geometry. So here we have our three points for the vertices of the triangle. Point A is negative 1, 2, 5. Point B is 3, 0, 4. And point C is 7, 6, negative 3. Uh, maybe you watched me do a similar problem in uh, two-dimensional space. Uh, but I have to know that if I'm trying to find the perimeter of this triangle, uh, this triangle, I'm just going to draw a generic triangle here, with vertices A, B, and C, I'm going to have to do three different distance formula problems to find the lengths of the sides. I'm going to have to use points A and B to find this length, B and C to find this length, and finally pairing A with C to find that length. So I have a little bit of work to do to compute those distances. I'm going to hold off on rounding to the end. We'll round our final answer to the nearest hundredth, uh, but I'm going to hold off on that until the very end because I don't want to make a rounding mistake uh, by rounding too soon. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll find the length of side AB. That's going to be equal to the square root of 3 minus negative 1 squared. There's my x's. Plus 0 minus 2 squared. Those are my y's. Plus 4 minus 5 squared. Those are my z's. Simplifying that a little bit, I have the square root of 3 minus negative 1 is 4. 4 squared is 16. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. And here I have uh, 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So here I have 16 plus 4, which is 20, plus 1, which is 21. So I have the square root of 21. That's the exact length of side AB. I'm going to go ahead and leave that over there off to the side so I don't forget about it. And then we'll go ahead and we will work out a different one now. So AB was the square root of 21. Let's remember that there. Now we have to do BC. So if we use B and C and do the same thing. So we have the square root of 7 minus 3 squared plus 6 minus 0 squared plus negative 3 minus Four squared, like so. Go ahead and simplify. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 squared is 16. 6 minus 0 is uh, 6. 6 squared is 36. And negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. Negative 7 squared is 49. Uh, so now I need to go ahead and add those together. Uh, let's see, 16 and 36 would make 52 and 49, uh, 52 and 49 would make 101. So I would have the square root of 101 for that side BC. I'll go ahead and leave that off the side here. Square root 101. And finally, I need to find side AC. Once I've found the length of side AC, then I have the, uh, the length of all the sides, and I can add them up to find the perimeter. So let's do that now. AC is going to be equal to, let's go 7 minus negative 1 squared plus 6 minus 2. And finally, the Z's, negative 3 minus 5 squared. So, working to simplify, 7 minus negative 1 is actually positive 8. Positive 8 squared is 64. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. And then over here, I have negative 3 minus 5, which is negative 8. Negative 8 squared is also 64 uh, with that. So, here I have... The square root of, let's see, 64 and 64 makes 128. 10 would be 138. And uh, 6 more from that would be 144 with that. 
So the square root of 144 is actually 12. So that one there um, worked out pretty nice for me. It only came out exact. So I had 12 for that one there. So now if I want to find the perimeter uh, and round to the nearest hundredth, I need to go to my calculator. I need to go ahead and add all these up and round it to two decimal places. And I'll know the perimeter of this triangle accurately, accurate to the nearest hundredth. Okay, now that I've found the exact distance of each of the sides of this triangle, I'm going to go ahead and go to my calculator to compute them. Um, I, had to, I had to compute the perimeter. Uh, I had the square root of 21 plus the square root of 101. And then finally, the last one was 144, which is 12. Like that. So the square root of 21 plus the square root of 101 plus the square root of 12. Uh, make sure, depending on what type of calculator you're using, that you close your parentheses uh, after your square root symbol. On this one, I just had to like move out from under the square root symbol, so I'm not putting other things under square roots. Uh, but hitting equals there, I'm seeing about 26.63 uh, would be the perimeter of this triangle rounded to the nearest hundredth of a unit. So 26.63 units uh, for the perimeter of triangle ABC in this particular example.